Hey everybody, today is Tuesday, September 26, 2023 in sunny San Diego, California, and I'm Captain Perry here with you. If you're new to the channel, beside me here is a scow bow mini cruiser that I'm building. Basically my mission here is to build a strong, trailerable, 14 foot sailboat that's watertight and custom built to cross oceans. Now just last week we crossed into fall. So that means my goal of getting 10,000 subscribers before the summer ends fell a little short, but that's okay. We're about to cross 7,600, which is pretty impressive to me. But if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so now and help me get to that 10,000 goal. Now in the last episode, I got a whole heap of work done inside the cabin. And over the past few episodes, I think I've thought of everything that I really want to do inside the cabin before I close up the hull with the starboard side and can no longer get in there, at least for a while. So what I'm gonna do in this episode is put that starboard side panel on, and it's a big one. And I believe technically you would call this the whiskey plank. That's traditionally the last plank of the hull that you put on and you celebrate with a little whiskey. And so hopefully at the end of this video, we'll do that. Of course, it's a momentous occasion because the hull is done. You could put it in the water then and it would float. So the first thing I'll need to do is dust off the old template I used to make the port side of the boat and put it on the starboard side, make sure it fits the way I want it to, and then use that to start cutting some foam. All right, let's get to it. About every one foot, I'm going to glue on one of these pieces to exactly define the curve of the hole here. Okay, at this point I've cut the shape of the side out of the foam and I went ahead and added a seven centimeter wide strip where frame C1 is going to go here and then the fiberglass will go from here all the way to the stern. I leave this on fiberglass so that it could bend because there's more of an extreme bend up at the bow. And then I join the two panels together with a 15 and a 10 centimeter wide strips of six ounce cloth. Next, I'm gonna do the back third of the boat. Okay, that's the aft third of the panel done. Before I take on the rest, there's a project back up forward of the mast tube I wanna complete. Up at the mast tube here, this little collar was intended for if you have a splash of seawater, it would hit the tube run up and then be directed down. So I wanted a little extra collar pointing down like that to re really redirect it down. And found this yogurt cup, which has pretty much the perfect diameter I want. I'm gonna use this as a male mold. Okay, I've got some 
peel ply cut up here and then five layers of six ounce cloth and I'm gonna sandwich inside a one inch piece of webbing. Okay, I've wrapped it sort of tight in tape and put it upside down on this bottle. So hopefully it keeps its shape. We'll see how it turns out. So my mast tube protrudes about 15 centimeters up from the deck or five inches and the way this works is I designed it that tall so that if seawater splashes over the deck it's going to run here, travel up the tube a bit and then when it hits here, well we got this on, it'll get caught in here and hopefully get diverted down. That's the idea anyway. And then the mast will come in and it's got either a rigid or a flexible kind of skirt that'll go over this and uh, that'll keep any rainwater from coming in. So we keep the rainwater out and we keep the uh, seawater from splashing in and that'll keep the uh, inside of the hull dry. And then at the bottom of the mast tube, at the mast base, we've got this little stainless drain coming out and any water that manages to get in shouldn't be much at all if any, we'll just trickle into here and I'll just clean it up from this space. I attach the collar to the mast tube with epoxy fillets followed by three or four layers of six ounce cloth. And of course a layer of peel ply at the end. Okay, inboard side is now fiberglassed all the way, and I even included a little pre-curving so it's easier to put it into place. Now I've peeled back a little of the peel ply, and I need to work on the deadlights. So my two starboard side deadlights are going to go right here. This will be the size of them on the outboard side, and then they'll be recessed. So the actual hole in the hull will be a bit smaller it'll be just this and then this is the actual size of the acrylic and I had a user who was kind enough to send me a good guide 
about how to do recessed deadlights properly. And I won't go through it all because it's going to be really a couple months before I actually have the acrylic cut and install them. But I'll put what he sent me on the screen here. You can pause it and read it in detail if you like. But basically the first step is for me to cut some 1708 that's going to be uh, five centimeters wider than the hole in the hole for the deadlight. And we're basically going to add three millimeters of thickness using three layers of 1708 over this area. And I've cut out kind of a template of what I need to cut out of 1708. So I'm going to cut three of these now and then fiberglass them on. Don't worry about the dry parts in the middle. That area will all be cut out before the deadlights are installed. This is what I call poor man's vacuum bagging. I add a plastic sheet over the work area, a blanket to apply pressure to the low and high spots, and then plywood with weight. Wow, that really turned out excellent. My boat will have two large cleats on the port and starboard quarters for tying up to docks and towing drogues or warps in foul weather. So now I'm cutting out the core where the bolts will pass through the side panel. The depth of the bit is set just deep enough to cut the core and not the fiberglass on the inboard side of the panel. Time to fiberglass the outboard side. Next I fill the holes with a high density epoxy filler. All right, there's the inboard side all fiberglassed, and you can see I'm using it as a bit of a workstation to mix up epoxy for here, inboard side of the port side of the boat to add fiberglass for these two deadlights. Okay, I've got the side panel staged. Next, I'm gonna mix up some thickened epoxy and put it on the edge of all the frames and where the side panel will rest along the hull on the bottom.
Okay, in the transom here, I've added one nice fillet in this corner. And then up at the bow here, another fillet right here on frame C2 to the side. So I'm gonna add two layers of 1708 here at the bow and at the stern, and that'll get us started for securing this. And then of course, before it's officially in place, I gotta bend this uh, forward part of the panel into place. Okay, the joint at the transom is fiberglassed. And up forward here at frame C2 as well. Okay, I've added some thickened epoxy into the seams here on the bow. And I'm gonna glue it in place. All right, I've added a nice fillet up here in the bow. Since this is bare foam, I'm gonna go ahead and fiberglass this whole area. Okay, well, with that forward part bent into place and epoxied into place and with some fiberglass too, I'm going to call the starboard side officially installed. So that's my whiskey plank done. And uh, today is actually October 10th, and in six days, October 16th, it'll be my two year anniversary of this boat build. So this is what two years of boat building got me. So to celebrate, I bought myself a good whiskey, Buffalo Trace, and let's toast to this whiskey plank. Cheers to two years and the whiskey plank. Thank you all for watching. Of course, a big thank you to all my Patreon members. If you wanna go above and beyond and help out with the project, you can head over to Patreon, the link in the description. And there's also the Amazon wish list. Hey, make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment if you like, throw me a congratulations, whatever you want. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Just one hour to make all preparations, we're getting on the way. Hey, uh, what's that? Home. Home, get back to your station, or I'll have you shot from here. Well, shoot, suck.